This illustration deals with exemptions to the work permit in accordance with 70E130.2B3. Now notice uh, where a company or facility allows such a thing uh, under the conditions in the boxed in information, items one through seven gives examples uh, where a work permit uh, would not be required. Number one, test. Number two, adjustments. Number three, troubleshooting. Number four, voltage measuring. Number five, infrared inspections in accordance, you know, with chapter 11, uh, starting around, I think it's uh, dot 17 goes through infrared measurements. It's required once a year. Uh, six, uh, the uh, restricted approach boundary is not crossed when egressing. And seven, uh, general uh, housekeeping, not in the restricted approach boundaries you see at the very top where it has the illustration of the person performing a housekeeping, then they, they're to stay out of, of what would be called uh, the restricted a, approach boundary if they're doing what sh uh, that individual's doing. And notice any kind of liquid they spray and clean uh, should be a non-conductive type of a solution that they're using. Now, uh, the plan work takes place, the briefing, as you see in the left, and then to make sure a briefing is adequate for uh, either one of those items, uh, one through six mainly, uh, we would uh, see the Annex J in the back of NFPA 70E for more information uh, what is actually uh, a person needs to do to plan an exemption uh, for, to uh, work permit.